This is Max Williams with United Real Estate, and today I'm in Chesterfield County. Today we're going to take a look at a four bedroom, two and a half bath home. This home is located here in a good looking new subdivision. Uh, this subdivision is about two years old, and uh, this is a cul de sac street. We have a cul de sac uh, that is right here in the middle of the frame, and therefore, the only cars that will go through here are about four cars that live past this home. So very quiet location. Uh, this is a unique floor plan and I'm excited to bring it to you. Special thanks to Yolanda Ewings, who was kind enough to allow us to come in and take a look at her beautiful listing. Uh, she's at United Real Estate and we just had a business planning session here uh, earlier this week. And during our business planning session, it's an annual event that we have uh, towards the end of the year in preparation for the next year. We talk about things uh, related to taking care of our customers, taking care of ourselves, uh, just a, a full day of thinking about what we're doing, how we're doing it, and how we're going to do it better. Our broker, Jeff Finn, him and his brother, uh, John Finn, own the company, and they announced to us that the firm has just been announced as the largest African-American owned real estate company in the nation uh, with about 250 agents. And we are proud of that designation. Uh, it is a real testament to how uh, agents and people are treated. Uh, your growth, of course, depends on that, uh, treating them well. And I uh, definitely love the way we interact, we work together and make things happen at uh, United Richmond. Uh, we have uh, agents with all types of expertise and so if there's something that I'm not sure about or have a question about I can just simply pick up the phone and uh, talk to somebody that is a subject matter expert in that particular area or field. All right we can see here on the exterior we've got a sloped lot uh, that's going to give us a bigger crawl space than normal and of course as we go towards the back uh, it does get bigger. Uh, directly in the rear, you may see a fence uh, along that wood line. We have a train track on the other side. The train just came by before I started my video, and, and a lot of times people will question whether or not a train is a big deal when it comes to real estate. And my experience has been that it's not. I've talked to people that live near train tracks, and they say, Max, after the first day or two, we don't even really recognize that it's there. Um, it, it's just something that your mind kind of filters out and uh, just becomes part of daily life. It's not obnoxious or anything, and of course these trains today are very fast. So they're here and gone in no time. Directly in the distance, you may have noticed, we've got a car with markings on it and a siren. And a lot of people really love that idea of knowing who your neighbors are. That is a great deterrent. Uh, not that there would be any issues here, but uh, it's nice to know that uh, you have neighbors there that um, basically can take care of business. Okay, as we come in, we have a space, this is a unique floor plan, a space directly to the left that can go a few ways. Um, I could see some owners actually using this as a formal sitting room or living room. Some have the need for a formal dining room and others may find this a great place for a home office. We've got great looking carpet. This home has been very lightly lived in. You can barely tell that anyone was actually here. Great neutral colors. This is LVP as we come in and uh, through a good portion of this downstairs space. As we move further along, of course, our stairs are to the right. We've got under stair storage here. And let's take a look here at our beautifully appointed kitchen. We've got a nice island there, enough space for probably five or so bar stools. Nice 42 inch white cabinets. All of our stainless steel appliances do convey. And this is a high definition laminate countertop. We can see we've got plenty of additional space there. If you're having a holiday meal, plenty of space here to lay out your food and uh, especially a nice big crock pot of collard greens. Okay, walk in pantry. I love what they did here with this microwave. Now, since we have this stainless hood they opted to just give us a nice bump up cabinet and not put the microwave there so they relocated the cabinet excuse me the microwave right here under the cabinet uh, and of course gives us a nice 
uh, extra amount of counter space. Uh, the other application I've seen is sometimes they'll mount it here low in the island, but I don't like that as much because then you've got to bend down in order to get your items out of the pantry. Much easier to have it at eye level. All right, we've got our smooth top and here to the left, of course, our stainless dishwasher. Nice, deep, double bowl sink as well. All right, we are nice and open here to our family room. You can see we've got plenty of light that flows in. And then directly ahead is where your informal dining would take place. Put your dinette right there in the middle of this space. We're gonna pop out back here, take a look at our newly refinished deck. Now, since this is just a two-year-old home, I can tell that they just recently uh, finished or sealed this deck. One of the things that they tell you when you first buy new construction is to wait, let the wood cure a little bit before you actually seal it or stain it. And uh, this looks like it's recently been done, so it should have a lot of good life left here on this deck. All right, of course, on the exterior, we've got low maintenance, low maintenance vinyl. Let's go on back in and take a look at the rest of our first floor. All right, special shout out to Miss Point Dexter. Uh, I was out in public and she came up and said, hey, you're Max Williams. I said, yes, I am. And uh, she was kind enough to introduce herself. So thank you for watching, ma'am. We truly appreciate you. This room here is another flex room. This space does not have a closet. So this would also be an ideal playroom, office, a uh, bunch of things that you could do here with this second room here on the first floor. Here to the left is going to be our first floor powder room. And we do have a closet that is right here. Nice deep linen closet. So this powder room is also convenient to the garage. We do have a two car attached garage, which is really nice because then you could come in here. We've got a nice big area uh, there to the right of the frame is where you could put a bench, uh, maybe some hooks or shelving. So when you come in here through the front door, uh, excuse me, through the garage door, you have a place you could simply uh, sit down or drop boots and uh, hang up a, a coat. This, of course, our two car attached side entry garage. And one of the things I noticed immediately was that it is painted. Uh, we've got a gray paint that's on the walls. This is something that the owners did. Builders will not paint uh, garages typically until you get way, way up in price. It's not something that they typically will do on most homes. We do have irrigation system. There's our controller and of course, electric water heater. All right, let's take a look here. Behind this door is going to be a coat closet. Nice and convenient. So if you are partial to new construction, uh, this is kind of the best of both worlds. It's relatively new and you don't have to wait. Right now, if you wanted to build, they're, they're gonna take typically nine, 10 months to build. And so this is great if you don't have that kind of patience, if you want to get it done, if you don't want to wait and see what interest rates are going to do, of course, right now you can go ahead and lock in your rate and be in this home. Uh, typically there are lenders that can do it in four weeks. Uh, so it would not take long. You could be in this house right before the new year. Okay. Here at the top of the steps, we have a walk in laundry room with nice 42 inch cabinets. This is enough space in here. If you wanted to put a small folding table in there, you could. To the left, this is yet another flex room. This is the largest or about the largest room up here on the second level. And this would be great if you wanted to put a nice big TV, some sofa uh, or a sectional in here. You've got enough space to do it. Plenty of natural light flows in. Notice there is no closet here in this space. So they did not intend for this to be one of the four bedrooms. Directly across is going to be bedroom number two. And you've got enough space in here for definitely an adult sized bed with no problem. Nice deep closets. And I'm gonna take you back down the hallway here to the left, another linen closet. 
Oh, the other beautiful thing about new construction is you still have some of the manufacturer's warranties. For example, in heating and air and some of the appliances, those things would still convey. They actually stay with the property. So if you had a heating and air issue, the technician will come out, they will pull the number off uh, the unit, the serial number, which will then tell the date of manufacture. If it is still within warranty, any heating and air tech can then do that paperwork for you and file it as a warranty job. So that's a huge plus. You don't have to have any special paperwork. Uh, they make that process really efficient uh, in the heating and air industry. Okay, this is our hall bath, nice big bathroom here. We've got the double vanity, ceramic tile on the floor, ceramic tile here in the tub shower area. All nice and new looking. So I'm gonna take you now to bedroom number three and it is right here. This home does have an access panel. Some of these homes over in this area do have basements. I, I was looking next door, actually have, has a basement. These sloped lots are conducive to basements. So uh, we don't have a lot of basements in this area, uh, but there are a few here and there. Okay, I'm gonna take you now into our primary bedroom. All right, this is it right here. We've got nice big space here. You could of course get a king in here with no problem. New construction typically means nice, generous closet space. And this one definitely does not disappoint. You've got enough space here on both of these walls. You could put your Louboutins in here next to your Uggs, next to your Crocs, and um, just a fashion faux pas if you have all of those shoes in the same closet. I just can't imagine somebody would do all of that in one closet. Okay, here we go. We are now in our primary bath. We're going to start off right by the front door of the bath here and we have our water closet, ceramic tile on the floor, and our actual bathroom space has plenty of counter space. Look at all that counter space. You've got the two level vanity, plenty of cabinets at the bottom. Directly ahead, of course, is closet number two. So we've got dual closets as if the first closet wasn't big enough. You've got one, that, oh, that closet, I'm sorry, was just for the shoes. This one is where you could actually put your clothes right here in this one. Very generous size. You know, when you have closets this big, that means you have to buy additional clothes if you don't have enough to fill them up. And who wants a closet that looks like it's skimpy? So it's good, uh, good reason to go ahead and uh, just pick up some additional wardrobe uh, if you buy this house. All right, we're gonna finish up here in my favorite space, our shower. We've got that ceramic tile in. We've got enough space in here. Uh, yeah, you got enough space to get in there and stretch out. A really good size shower. All right, that is going to do it for this beauty. If you have any questions about this or any other home in the market, my name is Max Williams. It would be an honor for me to help. Remember, I can help with homes all over the country. We'll put you in touch with good, qualified, experienced real estate professionals nationwide that can take care of your real estate needs. Max Williams, 804-402-7788. I can reach you on Facebook under Rich Manary Foreclosures on YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Y'all be safe. Have a great day.